Okay, if you're watching later, leave a comment. Um, oh, where's my phone is? of people thinking that we're gonna die and so it's literally impossible to find toilet paper but we got some toilet paper and I'm so grateful so my butthole hurt also I just thought, thought you should know that noodle hair oh it does kind of like ramen noodles huh I've never thought of that that's cute noodle hair Danny loves my hair like this so do I it's just a pain to do but I love it too how are you guys doing today? How's everyone doing? Is everyone alive still? <laughs> so, guys, I there's reason to be worried, but not this out of control paranoid. It's blowing my mind. Anyway, um, okay. Anyway, hold your comments. Okay. Can you tell Paul I'm live? Do you want to, can you Marco Paul and tell him I'm live and see if he wants, he doesn't have to, but. Oh, Darcy's here, never mind. I do have a moderator. Yeah, still tell him though, because he likes to watch sometimes, I think. We thought tonight I would just like, we would hang out and you're down to 18 rolls. <laughs> oh no. Listen, for, thanks stars. Um, for us, honest, literally we are in a science fiction movie. Literally. And ex except it, it doesn't need to be that extreme, but it's like my, my uh, urgency, my sense of whatever isn't like I'm gonna get sick and die, it's more I'm gonna run out of food and I'm gonna run out of supplies and stuff. That's the thing that scares me more than anything. Cause we're all going to get it, that that's just inevitable, but like only very few of us are gonna die from it. So, but those lives still matter. And I feel so sad that families have lost their, like I seriously feel so sad for those families that have lost people to this. Um, and I bet, yeah, I bet it would hurt their feelings what I just said when I was like, yeah, like not everyone's dying. I didn't mean to say that because that's so rude, but that's kind of the attitude the whole world has right now. So I'm trying to find that line uh, between like, I'm, I'm trying to be on both sides where it's like, yes, it's something to be worried about, but also let's not panic, but also respect the people who have died from it and their families, but also don't, overreact and think that you're gonna die it's like such a crazy time right now it's like a really difficult to find that happy medium because it just feels like the whole world is falling apart okay so we found the toilet paper at staples you heard me staples it was Paul's idea. Paul was like, wait, don't they sell toilet paper at Staples? So we stopped. We only got two packs, but that's okay. It's plenty. And we're going to give one to our... I forgot you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Have you been here the whole time? You know, secret's out now. It's okay. At this point, I'm like, I just want to help other people get their toilet paper. Hold on one second. Put it back. Do you know where the... The little thing? The little... What's it called? I can't I think. Hang on, guys.
yeah. So we got these. This is 20 pack, and these are really heavy, which makes me think it's actually really good. Um, lots and lots of sheets to it. I don't know. So we got two of these. We're gonna keep one for ourselves. My mom also gave us some toilet paper. We're gonna hang on to it um, because we both have such big families on both sides. So we're just we're gonna give it away to the people we know needs it, and then just hang on to the rest just in case somebody else needs it. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, where are they getting money from? Where are who getting money from? What? <laughs> Thanks, Paige. I was so happy when you posted that on Insta. It's been insanity out there trying to get basic supplies. Can't believe people are hoarding stuff like that. I don't know. It's like get what you need for you and your family and get like we could have bought they actually had four packs left at staples and my first instinct was like we'll get all of them so that we can give it to our families and stuff but we were like no just get half of them because and danny told a guy on the way out he was like hey there's still two in there go get them you know because we all need to be so yeah so we got some for our sister-in-law and my mom gave me some that I didn't know she was going to do so that's really sweet so we're just going to see what we can do and who we can help and I need to like sit down and figure out I don't know I use a lot of toilet paper because I have a lot of problems but um but they're yeah so anyway moving on oh you're sweet thank you um Wait, what? Wait. What? Whoops, I pushed, whoop, I pushed the wrong button. Oh crap, hold on. What did I do? What did I do? Karina. Oh, you're still there. Are you still a moderator? Type something else. I think I just accidentally deleted you as a moderator. I touched your name in it. Our Aldi and Walmart is fully stocked with everything. Our stores really don't look like anything is going on. It's strange. Earth, dude. I don't know. I think... Oh, there... See? What happened? Hold on. Hmm. Hello? Maybe you won't let me do it again. I wonder if I have to start the live over or something. What the heck? What's going on? Hmm. Okay, I don't know why, but it's not giving me the option to add you as a moderator. Yeah, you leave and come back and see what happens. That's a good idea. I need chopstick. Anyway, so hi guys. Um, let's hang out and I can sing for you. So if everyone will leave, or we could play games, or we can answer questions, and let's just hang out and be together on this many days of all of the panic and Armageddon and <laughs> Corona get in and everything. <laughs> You're back. No, you're still gray. You're not blue anymore. Oh, let me push on you. Hold on. Mm -mm, won't work. I wonder if I have to exit out. Next time we go live, just remind me, Karina, and, and I'll re at you. Oh, no. Ugh.
entertain you while I go find my chapstick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Make this taller for him. I'll be right back. Hola. Hi, Darcy. I'm reading the comments down here. Entertain us, Danny. I know, right? It's like, hey. I'm like the sideshow. The intermission. The intermission show. How's everyone surviving out there? Hey, go, go, gadget, basketball band. <laughs> That's funny. I know, right, Paul? It's killing me. Thanks, Paul. Is everyone surviving? Y'all got your toilet paper? What's up, Joe? Hey guys. All our stores in Oklahoma are still full. Really? Oh, yeah. Darcy, are they making you leave, like, for the semester, season, whatever you want to call it, <coughs> or is it more of a, you did, Paul? <laughs> Paul ordered some toilet paper on Amazon. I was looking it up just for fun. Yeah, that's what I saw too. Wow. So from a school point of view, what does that mean? Like, do you, do you have to work from home or like, how do you get those credits and stuff like that? Danny, do you know how to play any instrument? No, I'm just a, I'm just a ukulele player. I used to play violin when I was a little kid, and I have one. I tried to pick it up and relearn it, but I've forgotten everything. Um, Yeah, that's me. I know. Paul, Shannon wants me to go at least another month to see what it does. I just want to get rid of this. If I can just get rid of these these things, these wings, then so I'll be cute. then I'll be good.
coronavirus. Carpal tunnel. Or, 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 what's it called? What is that thing called? Call me a karaoke call. I'm very tired. It's been a while. We should do a coronavirus carpal karaoke. No, not carpal. Ew. Carpal? I don't know what I'm saying. Comment karaoke. Comment karaoke. For those that don't know what common karaoke is, it's so much fun. Basically, Danny plays for me or I look up a karaoke track on YouTube. And you guys send in com comments, except there are not a lot of people commenting, so it might be kind of boring. But I can make it up if not. The way you win common karaoke is if you make me laugh so hard that I stop singing, or you make Danny laugh so hard that he can't play anymore. So that's what's fun about it. So do we think it will die down soon? I don't know, Bridge. What about what do you think? Do you have supplies? Let us know if you need toilet paper, because we found some. Okay. Say dirty words on YouTube. Yes, I'll I'll probably bleep them out. I probably won't sing them, but yeah, I do because that's how you win. You guys know me. Like saying appropriate things and that will make me laugh. Here's a, I have I have my hair kind of Okay. Can we say dirty words? We got it at state levels. I Yesterday we went to Costco and they were sold out of toilet paper and paper towels and napkins too. And do you know what that means? With napkins being Until. Or 
Grinch. <laughs> so far, Grace wins. President, today I made out with my boyfriend. <laughs> This is what's happening. It makes me I just no, I just I just realized this. So if she's stuttering a lot lately, and I have a theory. Because you have, are getting so many no more nutrients and stuff to your brain, I think it's firing more, more than you're used to, and your tongue can't keep up. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. Anytime. But no, I heard today. <laughs> baby boomer generation. Because everyone's staying home for two weeks and yeah. just having sex. Uh -huh. That's what everyone's saying. So in nine months, we're going to have a whole big set of new babies. Okay. Um. What? Can you get a Spotify so I can listen to your voice on repeat? What's Spotify? I don't know. You downloaded it. Just a podcast thing? What do I what would I do? Sing like does it record it? Would it record me? How would you listen on there? I don't get how that works. I don't know how you'd listen to me on there. Spotify's how much have you missed? Music. Not much, Sarah. We've just been singing. the text my husband sent me. I got tested today. I was tested positive for the coronavirus. Turns out I've been infected for 26 years. Wouldn't change a thing. Interesting. What? I thought this was a new thing. Coronavirus is new. How can it be 26 years infected? Because you would have spread it for the last 26 years. That don't make sense. That don't make no sense. Yeah, because they did say you, you're more likely, you're three times more likely to catch it than the flu. It's three times stronger. Wait, we're missing, we're missing something here. It's a joke. Oh. Corona, like Corona, like the beer. Her name is Karina. Oh, Karina. Virus. You read it wrong. At first, I was like, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Wait, let's see. <sighs> Here's a text my husband sent me. I got tested today. I was tested positive for the. Oh, Karina virus. I hate you. Okay.
You want us to answer that, Ashley? Huh, well, this is a good question. Very good question. I'm gonna think, Ashley. Well, I see, so don't go away. Right after I'm done saying, I'll answer that, because that's, you be thinking too. Very life singing facts. Ready, go. One, worst part of marriage, two, best part. What's the question? What's the best part of marriage and what's the worst part? this color. I was born a toe head, same with him. We had like white blonde hair as kids. And then my hair was dirty blonde until what we got married maybe. And then it's it turned darker, darker blonde. It's like a light brown now. Okay. It's so pretty when you strum like that. I love that. Isn't he cute guys? not sexy with this hair. Come on. I like it. Except the wings. You're right. That's right. Here we go. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Stars. Okay, I'll work on that for you. It's not no, embarrassing. It's, no one gives a crap. Guys, do you care if she stutters every now and again? It's not every now and then. It's every sentence I speak and song that I sing. Any word that comes out of my mouth in any form. You may say. Uh -uh. 
Imagine no possessions. Wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. Brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people leaving Dars. Oh, yeah, Ashley's question. Okay, let's what start with best part, best worst part, part of marriage, marriage and worst part. Mm. I feel like we're both going to agree on the same thing. Should we start with worst? Yeah. Ready, go. There's a lot. Kitty. <laughs> I'm kidding. The worst part about marriage is... No, I really am kidding. I actually don't know if I can think of any. Can you? You probably can. The I worst part, part about marriage is the... It's not... I don't know if there's a worst part. Look, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's work. That's the worst part about marriage is that it's work. I think... I think that we're all, uh, at least I was, um, brought up to 50-50. know that, that marriage is supposed to be this great time and loving, and it's just a loving thing, oh, you're just so in love the whole time and all the time, and everything's going to be great and perfect, and, and everything just goes, because there's no, nobody tells you any information after you get married. Like, oh, by the way, this is a lot of freaking work. You have to work constantly to not kill each other, basically, you know? You have to go from being a individual, that you've worked your whole life to be an individual and, and separate yourself and be your own person, to all of a sudden being a partnership and working with somebody that usually doesn't agree with you all the time or any of the time on anything. So I think, it's, I think that's the worst part about marriage is that it's work. It's hard work, For but me. it's worth it. That's is also the best part about marriage. So I'm gonna just so flip it. aside that coin. Love it. All that work and all of that investment, if you will, into your partner and honestly into yourself. That's what I was gonna say, Carrie. What? Feeling each other's pain, feeling the other's pain. Oh yeah, when and you're again, married, well, that's, or even it. That's it, the that's the work part, you know. You're fine. That's the work part, though. Yeah, <laughs> but like even if you're. Um, you don't you don't have to have marriage for that like you could just have a a partner and mm -hmm. that that's great i was also going to say that i think the worst part is when we fight but when we fight it never lasts longer than like 20 minutes like if we storm out of the room at, at, at least one of us will come back within 20 minutes and be like oh, i'm sorry and mm -hmm. like work it out so i don't know but i like the fighting because it's what brings us together we have to like Fight extra work, hard and work, work through yeah. it together, yeah, and because, so because we want it to work, then you get more. Yeah, we are each other's everything. He's my person, I'm his person. He's my soulmate. He's my eternal partner, and vice versa. And you you just start to know one one another so well that. Um, and again, you don't have to be married for this, but just we've been together for. Almost 16, almost 16 years. years. July. We'll have been together 16 years. So we know everything about each other. 
like even tonight we were out shopping and I saw one look on Danny's face and I was like, I know exactly what you're seeing. And he's like, how do you know? And I'm like, I do, what was it? And then I said it and he's like, yeah. And he does that all the time for me too. Like we finish each other's sentences. Even though we do not even have anything in common, that's weird. Maybe that, that, Maybe that's why. I'm gonna cry. Why don't, why don't you just um, attack it? Just work through it. If you stutter, then you stutter. Just let it let it get out. It's embarrassing. It's not it. Like Nobody it. cares. I was gonna say something else though. Oh, I was saying. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you, Tiffany. We really don't have a lot of common as, as far as like activity and what we like to do in our spare time and stuff. Like we're both artists, we're both creators, but not like together. You, you know, like we don't go to sports games together. We don't go to movies together. We don't go to concerts. We don't really go out to eat. We just are home bodies. And so when we're together, we either play games that we both like or we watch a movie that we both like or we watch Jeopardy because we're old. You know, that's kind of just... get an awesome partner who tells you you're beautiful every day and doesn't make you feel stupid when you go through a phase of stutters and you're really embarrassed and the world is shutting down around you and he keeps you calm. That would have happened if we were the same type of people. I calm up and he calms down. He calms me down and I, and I bring him to reality because he's like the most optimistic, invincible, he thinks he's invincible. So I'm paranoid and he thinks he's invincible. So we meet in the middle, so it works. <sighs> Together we are nothing. <laughs> Together you can finish my freaking sentences for me. Anytime time my tongue stops, just finish it for me. It's embarrassing. How am I gonna do public speaking? This has never been an issue. I literally want to cry about it. It makes me that upset. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Tiffany said, you have more in common than you think. You both, you both love Celtic women. You're both LDS. <laughs> Here, there you go. And by the way, I'm 32 and I watch Jeopardy. Jeopardy's the best. Yeah, we do have the same values, we have the same, we have the same appreciation of things as far as like blessings in our lives. We both love our families. But like he likes to get out and do things active, go shooting or go play airsoft. Or he loves being outside, he loves the sun, he loves the heat. I hate, like I despise all of that. Like I just want to stay in my house and cover all the windows and just live in darkness and just be alone. And he always wants to be with somebody and I just want to be alone. Unless I'm with him. That's my preferred. I either want to be alone or I want to be with him. Aww. When I'm like struggling and every day. You know, you're with any of that. Your eyes are really pretty. Your eyes are really pretty. Seventy-three days of not purging. Is that what they look like? Yep, that's what they look like. That's what I thought. When things are, when things get too comfortable, how do you change it from feeling like roommates to feeling more like married lovers? That makes well, sense. Well, we've had issues with this because we don't sleep in the same room <clears throat> for many other reasons, um, and so many people have asked us, like, "Are you guys okay?" And, no, Tiffany, I haven't seen it yet. Sorry. Um, like, are you guys okay? Are you getting divorced? Why do you sleep in separate rooms? We're like, no, it's just what works for us. But, um, there are times where, mainly because of me, it feels more like a roommate situation because of my issues with the love showing situation. 
um, which we're working on. But every marriage has its has its thing that needs to be worked on, and that's ours. Everything is different. Everybody's different. Yeah. So it's not it's not easy, but it's super worth it. I I wouldn't trade it for anybody in the world. I love him so much. Um. Each other's lobster. Oh, thanks, baby. I love that. Um, how do you guys combat infidelity in that case? That's on you, not me. I don't care about sex, but you do. I already know the how answer, but I'm gonna let him. Infidelity? When you feel more like roommates and not lovers? She, no, she's saying when I, <clears throat> because I'm not able to give you sex mm. a lot. How do you not? go out and cheat on me. Right. Um, it's called uh, having a moral compass and having a sense... No, that's how it is. I'm telling you how it is. You need to have your morals straight. You need to have your your ethics in line. Otherwise, yeah, why, why not just go crazy? What's the what's the point of even... The truth is he can never reserving? find anybody better than me. That's also have true. Have you seen my ass? Oh, have you seen it? Because it... We just need to get a king-size bed. That's what we need to do. Um, we might no, but really though, it. sorry, if you don't mind. Uh, it's it's that's the that's probably the like I was saying the hardest part of marriage, um, but also the greatest part of it is being loyal to your person. You know, and and yeah, and to me, Ow. for me, it's super easy to be loyal because I'm a very loyal he, he is. person in every situation, not just romantically. Yeah, no, I'm I'm He's just a loyal. This, this this is the woman of my life, my dreams, my forever. So it's not like, I, I have already put, when I when I asked Shannon to marry me, huh, when I asked Shannon to marry me, I made a commitment, uh, and that's forever, you know? If she died, if, if anything, if, and, and heaven forbid if she died, of course, but if she died, I'm not getting married again. She's the only one yes, I want. Yes, you are. Oh, no, 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 See, no, I've no, already made no, that decision. No, no. The decision has been no. made. It has been made. No. So it is written, so it shall be done. So I've already made the decision in my mind. It's that's my she's that. That's that's it. She's my she's my one and only. People and that's, have needs. That's what I want. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh absolutely people you have can, needs. You can, I have needs, trust me, believe it or not, I have needs. But it's it's a patience you guys, thing. You can get rid of needs without intercourse, right? Well, yeah. I mean yeah, you take you can take care of yourself. You can, you can, but but again, guys, that's well, part of the working I mean, part. There's other things you can do. And me and Shannon were working on this stuff forever. You know what I mean? And it's and look, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna toot my own horn here a little bit here. I'm different. I'm different than all the the crazy males out there who who really who who have made it in their mind a. A, a priority, you know, because it was a priority for me for a freaking long time Bridget. to have sex with my wife, to have intercourse with my wife, to make love to my wife. It still is, but however, I've learned because my partner struggles with it that it doesn't need to be top priority. When it happens, it's awesome, and when it doesn't, okay, that's okay. Well, well I'm gonna hold out, and I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait, and I'll wait forever if that's what it takes, because that's. The dedication and love that you, that that commitment to me means. And this is just me, guys. So this is just me. If anyone else is is struggling with this, then it sucks. I know. I've been but, working on this lately. No, she I'm has really, been working really on really it. It's been her. it's been it's great hard. lately. So. Um. Um. I'm an atheist. And I'm not fully convinced that love is real or that you can be with one person forever, so hearing this kind of stuff is really inspirational and heartwarming. Oh, well, there you go. I feel like for me anyway, actually, it's the same for him because I know him. Thank you, Tiffany. It's, um, there's a, there's an extra, like, um... It's all right. It's all right. Stop getting so aggravated with yourself. Be patient. Patient. There's, um... No, I forgot what I was going to say. Great. 
I'm ready for a relationship, but I'm terrified I will lose somebody. Yeah. Libby? 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 It's a possibility, but it's also a possibility you can yeah. find more. I mean, look. It's worth the risk. It's, yeah, it's, in a, my it's a possibility for sure. But that's something that is part of the deal. You know what I mean? That's why you need to take your time and, and really vet out Thanks. who you're getting who you're getting with and everything like that, you know? Thank you. You're saying I like your hair. Jesus. It looks good. I think it's sexy. Thank it kind of reminds me of... A, why am a, I in full picture? Why aren't you... You could be in the, in the frame. I am. Look. Oh. It reminds me that. of um, Wesley from Princess Bride. As you wish. And I have her hair. Look at that. I didn't even notice till now. Look. I even pulled it back. Yes. Yes. Danny will ever go all ever. No, I won't. He won't. He's Grandpa had hair when he died, so. Yeah, um. I don't know. I guess I just. It's really hard to. Because we're kind of in a weird phase right now where we're trying. I'm trying. I mean, he always tries, but like I've been making it a point to try and it's really difficult still, but we're getting there. And for me, it's like, and I think it's the same for him. So I feel like this is going to sound wrong. I feel like he's, I, because I don't, I don't want to have sex when I do have sex with him. It's for him. And I feel like that's how he is about me because I can't have sex. So he's like, well, I'm going to be patient with her because she's, she helps me sometimes. So I need to help her on her part because our, this is, this isn't making sense. That's right. Um, I'm patient no, with you so that you sense. can, so no, that you can I mean. take the time you need to figure it out. Is that what you mean? What do you mean? Like he's so, I don't know, Barry, is this a He's so far on the spectrum of wanting it all day, every day, and I'm so far on the spectrum of never wanting it ever at all. And so, yes, he could go out and go to other girls, but I feel like one of the reasons he doesn't is because he respects that I am trying my best. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And so it's kind of like we're trying to meet in the middle, and that's what we're working on right now. That makes sense. Have you ever had sexual contact with a girl? It's a good question. Um, oh, that's okay, Ashley. Honestly, it's a different type of need. Yeah. And it sucks because, like, my need is completely unreasonable. <laughs> and not normal. I'm not a human. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, he's the normal one. I'm not, but we, we try and find other ways to, you know, help him when I'm not able to, to do like full on stuff. I can't believe that we talk about this stuff on the internet. We're, I feel like we're so used to it now that it's not even weird. Like it's you can ask us anymore. anything. But we both come from really conservative families, and I guarantee they would be like, I, I would never even like admit that I had sex on Friday or something, let alone details. Wusses. Of, They're all wusses. No, no, they just, that's how they choose to keep their marriage secret. That's okay. I'm just saying we're, I we're feel, the odd ones out here. I Honestly, I feel that this helps more people than it hurts. You know what I mean? By putting these stories out there and, and having people understand that this isn't, again, just that romantic novel that you bring up, that everything just works out the way you think it should work out and everybody has a happy day. It's not like that. This is real life, guys. This is what people struggle with. Yeah. And we ain't the only ones, I, t I guarantee you. So I hope we're helping. 
Holly said, do you like women too? Does Danny like men? No. Danny's straight. Nice I'm bisexual, but I I don't like women anymore. More. I'm still attracted to them on the outside, but when I married him, I chose to be with him and only him, so no. Hair tutorials. I know people always ask that. Um, can I come out to you guys? I know you already know Shani. Will I be judged? I don't think you'll be judged here. You kind of just did by saying that. <laughs> so go for it, girl. We have like the least judgmental community. We all try and respect each other. Exactly, Tiffany. This is like all cream. It's like all whipped cream. I just want the crust. Did you like it? It's literally just cream. Not Holly said, guys, I'm trans. Hey. Feel better? Does that feel good to say that? I'm sure it does for you. Um, the Harley thing, I'm still trying to catch on to, so don't be surprised if the community if it takes them a while to catch on, unless you want to change your name. Just move here and marry Paul. Do you, want, do you want to marry Ashley Paul? She's a cool chick. She's got her own YouTube channel, actually. She's beautiful. She's funny. She's smart. She's kind. She's the sweetest. She always leaves like the most sweetest comments and stuff. Are you going to bed? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'll be close behind. Want to do a movie morning? Sure. World War Z? Sure. I think it's appropriate. I, I agree. Absolutely appropriate. No, I'm not on my phone. I'll show him later, Tiff, because he's... He's getting grumpy. Hey! Because why? The thing that I'm not allowed to say in front of you. Does it think what? Yeah, it makes you mad if I say it in front of you. What makes what makes me mad? Oh no! Yeah, no, <laughs> no, don't do it. See, we he just read my face. That's how well we know each other. That's after 16 years of hard work, by the way. He's the cutest human. Shut your face hole. What did you just say? I said he's the cutest human. Oh. I thought you, said, I thought you said old man. I was like, oh. Bitch. You said old man, not me. <laughs> You're not old. You're 37 years young. Damn straight. What kind of cheese is that? Swiss. What's the other one? Provolone. Can you have a Provolone? Can you have a Provolone? Can you wash your hands since you don't Twice. Can you do it again? Because I'm paranoid. I'm afraid. Danny's beast. 
somewhere else. We don't have many towels in our house. It's really weird. I'm sure they're somewhere buried in our crap. Yeah, I think I'm sure we have some. But like the only towels that we have, I think we have four total. If that, maybe three. And so tonight we're like, wait, let's just go get some more towels. Cause we waste, this has made me realize we waste so much paper towels. Like just one slice. And this is, I feel like this is gonna, yeah. I have like a plate or something. I feel like this is gonna train me now to not freaking waste. Wasteful. Yeah, because I was very wasteful. And now I feel like, oh my gosh, I wasted so much. So anyway, that's one good thing that's come out of this. You guys look younger than you. No way, Ashley. No, you are, you look younger than you. How old are you? How old are you? You do not. Well, how old are you? Should I guess? Do I know how old you are? Well, if I didn't know your life, honestly, I'd say you're in high school. But I know that you're out of high school, so I know you're at least 18. <laughs> you're 29? <laughs> what? I'm pulling you up. Hold on. You good? I'm full crap. Yes, I'm good. Okay. Bye, everybody. I love you. Hey, I love you. You saw my last movie. Oh, what do you wish? Butterballs. <laughs> Your turkey. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, where are you, Ashley? Wow, there's a lot of life with Ashley's out there. Okay, which one are you? Is that you? I can barely see the picture. That might be you. Yep, that's you. Look how beautiful. Um, look at this girl. Seriously. Wait. Do you not do this channel anymore? Look how pretty this girl is. This is Ashley. Look how gorgeous. Paul, do you want to marry her? The only thing is, Paul does want somebody that believes in God, but you could at least come and flirt. And maybe hang out with all of us together. Not like sexually, but if, if it goes there, that's fine. I'm just kidding. This is Ashley, gorgeous. Life with Ashley on YouTube. She's got like 4,000, like she's got a legit channel. So go check her out and subscribe, please. Um, Cause she makes a lot about, she makes a lot of, she, she speaks, up quite a bit about her struggles and you guys know that I try and promote any channel that does that so I'm really proud of her but she's also just kind of like shows you her life it's not like you know her whole channel is an eating disorders mental health it's but when but when that comes up it's really cute She's adorable. I love her. I want to meet you someday. I feel like I would love to just like go to the mall with you or something. Her channel, uh, type, uh, do you see in the comments? Life with Ashley. So go click on her in the comments, click on her icon and it will take you there. Which comment is it? Karina? Which video? Where is it? Which which video? Done? Same. Do you need to paint? 
I don't need to paint, but I want to paint. Part of me is like, do I save all my supplies just in case I can't leave? Because I can't go a day without painting something. I at least have to make a little one every day. And I never freaking... Oh, remind me to check my battery too. Thank you. Okay, what am I at? I'm okay for now. At least I have the charger for this one. So this will not die. I can actually put it in right now. Really? Ooh, I'll have to go look on Monday, Bridget. I love paint. Bridget, what do you charge for your work? Because I want you to make me something. Have you ever made temples yet? Have you gotten down that road? I can't remember if you've done that, but that would be cool. And then, I don't know, I, have some, I might hire you for something, so let me know. Depends on your piece. Your family is transphobic, so you're screwed. I would suggest taking time beforehand. Just like I encourage people with eating disorders, I always say, if you want to tell your, your family, um, hold on. I know, Bridget. I don't know how you're whipping one out every day, to be honest. I'm like, what the crap? Um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Oh, Harley, that's what I was going to say. Um, where'd you go? I forget what I was going to say though. Whoops. Hmm. Okay, Bridget. I'll message you. What, I'm, what am I eating? I was eating cheese. Provolone. Delicious. I'm sorry, I cannot believe. What was I going to say to you, Harley? Oh, so take some time. So I tell people, make, make sure that you can get... Make sure that you set aside some time and ask them. I'm just going to talk slower and see if that works ask them to set aside some time for you, like a half an hour, I would say an hour, to be honest, um, just to be sure. And like, uh, like absolutely no distractions at all. So like leave your phone in the other room and make sure that it's just you guys and there's no noise or distractions going on. Um, so maybe go for a drive or something, I don't know. And just really ask them and, start out by telling them how difficult this is for you to say and that you love them and that you don't want to hurt them or scare them um, and that you just have to be true to who you feel that you are. You might just have to work extra hard on them and then they might still really hate it and so, but if they really love you, which I'm sure they do because you're amazing, they're always going to love you. Even if they don't agree with one of your life choices, not that it's a choice, that's not what I meant, but I mean in their head, if they're thinking that. Even if they don't agree with any any way that you're living your life, um, as long as they still love you, that's okay. You don't have to talk about, you don't have to talk about it all the time. You don't have to bring it up. You don't have to talk about it. Um, I don't know, however, how it would feel to, um, to be trans in those situations because that could be different that would be much harder because there's a lot because it, it, it it's like me being bisexual it doesn't um 
it doesn't affect my conversation. But with you, it might because now you need him and and his and he pronouns and stuff and they might not understand that and that'll make you feel uncomfortable then then you might get upset at them and then they will be upset and I don't know I don't know I would almost like uh, oh, wow this is bad this is getting bad I would almost just decide that because I had to do this too because I had certain family members that um, are homophobic and I had to make the decision after I told them and the way that they reacted, I was like, okay, I need to make a decision here. So I decided, I know that person still loves me. Those people still love me. And I'm okay if we just don't talk about deep things. That's, that's the compromise I've had to make so that I don't feel uncomfortable. They don't feel uncomfortable. But like if it gets brought up in conversation, yeah, I speak up about it, but there's really no need to talk about it normally but for you I feel that's different because your look will change your voice will change your name will change your you know everything and so yeah I don't know it's hard if they're your family and if they love you they will still love you and they might not agree with you but that doesn't mean they don't love you oh Imagine all the people living life in peace. Yeah. Where is it? This one. They stand here. Okay, I'm going to read this from Karina. <clears throat> if I can, I'm not good at reading right now. When I read out loud, I stutter even more. So be patient. Sorry. Um, she said, I have a theory on why you're doing well in your recovery. Of course, it's just one theory. Ooh, I can't wait to hear this. Um, whenever I find a hobby and people tell me, all, all the nice things about what they think about my creativity and then I'm able and then I'm able to make money with it I feel accomplished needed useful special and a reason to survive um, the list is long I feel good about myself and even more respected why do you think I'm so creative you can look on my Instagram I can draw just about anything if I can see it I can draw it I can crochet any pattern I've created my own patterns. I can make soap, bath bombs, lotion, shampoo, conditioner, perfume, makeup. I can cross stitch. I can cook anything. I taught myself all of it. It's, um, I'm also a cosmetologist. I have creativity in my veins and my creativity is mine. I own my creativity and, and my creativity is worth something to people. For many years I felt I had, I, all uh, for, For many years, all I felt I had was my creativity. Um, I feel I feel my creativity gives me worth. When I show my creations to people and I see their face light up and hear the ooh and ahs um, and all that kind, all that kind thought, it, it it's a great feeling slash high. I feel special and accepted. Can you relate to any of this? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I'm sure that's a huge part of it. Painting has saved my life in many ways. Saved my recovery, saved my life, saved my relationships, saved my marriage. Um, because it's helped me in, in the end. And that's just, I don't know, it's so awesome. Yeah, thanks, Karina. You're the sweetest. And I'm proud of you. And that's, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. That's what you do. And that's what I'm trying to do. And... Karina, for those of you, you guys should go subscribe to her too. She's got her own channel. She makes primarily soaps and they're amazing. And we're gonna be collabing soon. I'm gonna make her a painting. She's gonna make me a soap. Um, but she also has dentures. She also went through years of eating disorders and addiction, right? 
did you go through the dick chain? I don't know. But she's incredible, so go subscribe to her as well. Does anybody know how to reheat halibut? I have a little bit of halibut left from dinner tonight. How do I reheat it without like drying it out? I've never cooked halibut in my life. I've only ordered it at restaurants, so I don't know. Like, is the microwave gonna make it taste nasty, probably? And if so, how do I warm it up? Anybody? Does anybody know? By the way, I'm totally touching my nipple, and I don't know why I do that. I, I'll catch myself just like touching my boobs, so just ignore. It's okay, you can't see because they're all the way down here, so never mind. Forget that. You can't even see. <laughs> yeah, the stutter, I don't know what it's from. It started probably, I don't know, it started probably like a month ago, maybe? I've always like stuttered here and there, but nothing like this. Like this has been a day, every single day thing. And especially when I'm having a conversation with somebody else or trying to film a video is really difficult right now. Reading is really hard. I'm surprised I got through that. Um, but yeah, lately it's just been getting even more and more and more worse. Like, like my, my tongue just goes lazy and I don't know what this is. Like I've never experienced this before. It's kind of scary. It's like freaking me out, making me think I have some sort of brain problem. And I'm sure that's not what it is, but like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so embarrassed also, cause hello, I've shown way more embarrassing things, I guess because this is a, a, a new thing for me. And so I, I can't, oh. I just really, really need a new tongue. Danny's probably right. My my brain is getting healthier, and so I have so many things to say. But my 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 speaking voice is used to being um, slower because I'm was so sick, and so that would make sense that I've got all these like healthy thoughts, and I'm trying to get them out, and I and it won't catch up with what I want to say. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Does that answer your question? <laughs> okay. Um, Really? I have a stutter when I take certain meds, <gasps> like Wellbutrin and Promethazine. I take Promethazine, but I've been taking that for years. But they did just start me on some new ones. Hmm. I'm going to ask my doctor. That's a, that's something I never thought of till now. Wow. Might just be a side effect. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I didn't think of that. Because, of course, my mind goes to, like, the... the like, like, the the worst scenario, like I have brain cancer or something. I know it's nothing like that. What was I gonna say? What were we talking about? I was gonna say something. Oh, I was just gonna finish that thought. In the last, I would say the last two weeks, it's gotten terrible. Even more worse in the last week, it's gotten really, really bad. And it's really, um really embarrassing to me for I don't know like I don't I don't know why it's uh, so embarrassing um Shani looks so bright and glowing on oh, your hair is gorgeous I can't stop looking how amazing it looks thanks sweetie that's really sweet of you yeah I, I need to do a hair tutorial people have been begging forever like since my first video they've been begging to do a hair tutorial um, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Cause like my body is reacting in other ways. So since I stopped behaviors, my body is starting to, um, get hungry again. So that's one of the things that's starting to happen. Um, like I'm needing to eat every few hours and what else has changed? Um, I'm actually getting a little bit more energy. Like I'm on the mend from the ulcers and stuff that took all my energy, but I feel like I'm starting to get that back. And then some, um, what else? I don't think my, it's really hard to figure out with my gastroparesis and my pooping issues because either, I don't know, either it makes it easy to come out or it doesn't. And it's always one or the other. Either I have diarrhea or it's like, stone hard poo which is weird because I don't get that I get constipated but not with hard poop I get constipated normally 
with any poop because my butthole, or not constipated, yeah, that's what I meant. My butthole is so small, literally, because it's so swollen from all the fissures and hemorrhoids that my poop, my poop is just hard to get out in general. So it's not necessarily like, is it hard or is it running? It's just, I don't know. This is not making sense at all. Um, thanks, Bridget. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think it's been 73 days today. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I should have made a list. I'm going to make a list and make a video of it because I know there's other things that I've stopped and been like, whoa, I couldn't do that two months ago. What? I'm trying to think of what they were. So, yeah, but there have also been some hard side effects. I'm not going to lie to you. But I think that's just my body getting used to keeping all this food down. My stomach's like, what is this? And then my bowels are like, what is this? And then, I don't know. So, I don't know. This is the longest I've ever gone as far as I, well, that's not true. In the past I've gone, no, that's not true because I would replace it with another one in the past. So like I've gone this long without purging before, but I always replaced it with starving. So yes, this is absolutely the longest ed behavior that I've gone without ed behavior for sure. Yeah. Thank you. I'm very proud of myself. I really am. I don't, you guys don't hear me say that a lot, but I'm very, very proud of myself. And today it was so cool because thanks girl, because, um, you know, we, it, We went to dinner tonight with Danny's family and they don't really talk about that stuff. They don't talk about hard stuff at all. But two people brought it up to me. Danny's sister brought it up. I mean, Maggie already knew. I'm close with Maggie, but I'm not close with everyone else. Like I am with Maggie. But, um, so like Maggie was actually one of the first person to text me when I posted the 70 days thing. And she was like, oh my gosh, but, like the rest of Danny's family, they just don't, you know, talk a lot about that. But then his sister brought it up and then his mom, who's the one that's the most like, we don't talk about hard stuff. Let's just laugh and have fun together and love each other, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, she came up to me and she said, hey, you look really, she's like, you look really beautiful. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And she's like, no, you look pretty. And I'm like, oh, that's sweet. Thank you. And she's like, no, you look, and she's like, just your eyes. You look so bright and alive. And I was like, that means so much more to me than she'll ever know. You guys know how much it means. And I'll probably tell her tomorrow because I'm seeing her again tomorrow how much that means coming from her. Because um, I know it's not easy for her to even like mention what I'm going through at all. It's really hard for her to understand and that's okay. I Like... I, I, I'm glad she doesn't understand the horrible things that I'm going through because that would mean that she would have had to gone through them or witnessed it and it's just not fun. Anyway, so that, when she told me that, I that just really meant the world to me, so. I don't know. And then when I edited my video, which whichever was the last video I edited, I even thought to myself, I'm, I'm looking so much better. I'm looking so much more alive. We found toilet paper at Staples. If you're just joining, Staples sells toilet paper. Paul called us and, and he knew that we needed toilet paper. So he was like, yeah, doesn't Staples sell it? And we're like, what? So we stopped at Staples tonight on the way home and we got two, two, two packs of 20. We're gonna give one to our sister and my neighbor is so cute. She texted me today and she's like, hey, I saw on my on your story that you need stuff or that, it, 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 that you can't find wipes or toilet. She's like, we've got like wipes. They're really old, but I'm sure they would work. <laughs> I'm like, you're so sweet. She's the sweetest. Um, I know, right? Who would have thought staples? So there's a hot tip. And if you live in Utah, I'm not encouraging shopping on Sunday for those that don't do that, but I'm saying this is an emergency situation. And if you live in Utah, stores are pretty dead on Sundays because nobody shops on Sundays in Utah because we're all LDS and we just don't. So 
we're very much considering going out tomorrow and seeing what we can find. So I'm not gonna lie. You could hear your neighbor snoring. Uh, that's cool. Love that for you. Um, should you wear a dress for your wedding? What would you be comfortable in, Harley? I mean, you wear whatever you want. If you wear whatever you want, it doesn't even matter what gender you are. You can wear whatever you want. Guys can wear dresses if they want. Girls can wear suits. Girls can wear dresses. Guys can wear suits. You wear whatever you are most confident, com comfortable and confident in. I thought it was your husband. <laughs> Paul, you've been wanting a kilt? You should get one. You would look good in a kilt. I think kilts are cute. Am I being punished? What are you being punished for, Bridget? You you would never be. You're an angel, are you kidding? Um, wait, who quit cigarettes? Did I miss something? <gasps> wait, that's amazing. Who is it? What am I missing? Can someone tell me? Oh, really? Promethazine makes all the other meds act stronger because he opens the lining of your stomach. You know what? I, I think I've experienced that because sometimes if I take a pain pill and um, a fenugrin, promethazine, it like knocks me out, like knocks me out. Whereas if I don't take it, it doesn't, I, I don't really feel it. It just makes my pain go away. Wait, Emily, Emily, you quit smoking? Wait, are you completely quitted? Is that a word? Are you completely done? That's incredible. Pain pill, opiate, and a finagin is rapper's lean. I have no idea what that sentence means. I have literally don't know what any of those words mean except for pain pill. Opiate, I know what that is. A pain pill, opiate, and a finagin is rapper's lean. So like M&M or like M&Ms because they're both have rappers. <laughs> anyone get it? No? Just me? Okay. Thought so. I'm comfortable in anything. I'm very gay. <laughs> then freaking wear a dress that, then. If you're asking my opinion, get the biggest, puffiest, princessiest, sparkly dress that you can find. That's what I did and I love it. And I still have my wedding dress. I don't think I was going to do a video a long time ago where I tried my wedding dress. Why have I not done that yet? Does that even sound interesting to you? It probably won't zip up, <laughs> but I could at least like try and get it on. Would that be interesting to you guys on this channel? I don't know. Uh, I heard you say your LDS is Lori Vallow in the same religion. I don't know who Lori Vallow is. I don't know who that is. No idea. I don't take as many vitamins as I should. I know. I need to work on this. Um, I take a one-a-day vitamin, which has all the vitamins, but I need way more than that. Like, I need specific vitamins. Um, that's why I was going to ask my doctor at my appointment. That's why I need to be writing things down constantly. Ugh. Anyway, yes, I know I need to be on more, so... Maybe not, it might trigger me. Wait, who are you talking about? I don't think you're talking to me, are you, Libby? You would want me to try my dress? Does anyone else? Like it would totally be, no, oh, he's getting a wedding dress? That's so cute. Is it for real? How long is it? 
How long is the video? Maybe we can watch it if it's short. Rylan Adams, go ahead and go shopping. He's so funny. I actually don't know him as well as I know Shane. I don't know any of them, but you know what I mean? Like, I definitely watch more Shane than Rylan, but he's super cute. Um, I don't know, Karina. It's a hard thing for me to... <sighs> that sucks, Sophia. Have you seen the YouTuber who was diagnosed with gastroparesis, but it was actually cancer? She was living it. What's her name? I'm gonna look her up. What's her name? Do you know? Oh, okay. You meant because I'm in recovery, it might trigger me if it doesn't fit. I gotcha. No, I don't. Over the, since I stopped behaviors, this is, I know this sounds crazy and I know, and I hope this lasts, but I have been trying to accept my body more too. Like I've been, um, I mean, I'm still self-conscious. I always will be, but I'm finding myself when I go out in public or even if I'm filming or at home or something, um, my body anyway, not my face. I have issues with my face at the moment, but that's fine. But my body, I just decided, I think, I don't know how it happened, but I was like, these people have seen my body. My family has seen my body. Everybody else who doesn't know me hasn't seen it, but they don't know me. So who cares? Um, and I know that you guys love me no matter what my body looks like. And I know that Danny loves me and, and I love you no matter what your body looks like. So I don't know. It just started to become, it's the, the healthier I get, the more easier it is to just say, okay, there are way more important things in the world to worry about, especially right now. So, <laughs> um, if Lori value is Valo is LDS, then she is, then she is not representative at all of our church. She's out of her damn mind. Really? What does she do? What's her name? Lori Valo? Who is that? Lori? Is she a YouTuber or just a... Wait, she's in prison? Wait, what? Someone sum it up for me. It looks like a story because this is all videos of like court. Did she do something? Someone just give me a brief overview of the thing, of her story. No, it's okay, Olivia. I know. That's sweet of you to think of that. Um, I mean, it's not like it's not going to bug me at all, but I don't know if you'd asked me to do like two months ago, I couldn't do it, but I don't know. I just feel so good. And I feel so grateful that I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because I have thousands of people in my life that understand what I'm going through, which means I get thousands of people encouraging me and thousands of people people being proud of me. And when that many people are proud of you, it's a powerful feeling. And I wish you could all feel it, but hopefully you know that you're just as valuable and just as strong. Even if you mess up, keep going. I, I can see myself making it a year. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud. Am I gonna jinx myself? I don't know, but I'm telling you, I, I don't know. It, I'm trying to take it slow, obviously, like April 11th will be my 100 days. And, and what should we do? What should we do to celebrate? I feel like I need to do something on my channel to celebrate. I wanted to do an iPad giveaway as soon as I hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, but there's no way we can make that happen by the time I'm at 100 days. Um, I don't know, I want to do something. I do. I'm so lucky. Okay, let me go back and read. Probably 
think she's an extreme doomsdayer and believes Simba's are things. Is that it? Was that your whole comment? Lori Val, Lori Val is all over the news. Her two children are missing. Oh, currently? Excuse me. She's involved in a doomsday cult and seems impervious about her children. Really? a husband, a brother, a spouse. Everyone's still on this board. They're still alive, but there's been a lot of strange events around all of it. Lori's niece, Melanie, her husband was almost killed in Gilbert. Tylee and JJ, they're still missing. And the one person at the center of all of it, Lori Vallow herself. She is the common block denominator, him, the common factor. Monica Lindstrom is a legal analyst with KTAR News 92.3 FM. There's just too many coincidences all put in this web. She is presumed innocent. Lori Vallow with no makeup, her arms crossed in a stone oh, yeah, stair. Yeah. And Paul, are you here? Yes. The only word Thank she you. ever Thanks, said Penn. was yes. Her lawyer arguing her five million dollar. I'll have to watch this later. So basically, so basically, what happened? Um, children are missing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if she's all the S. If she is, like Bridget said, that would not be. A good representation of our church. Okay, so her kids are missing and they don't know where they are. Is this like another Chris Watts situation where we know that she's guilty, but it's not closed yet? Is it kind of kind of like that? Children are missing, and there's a string of murders? What? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go listen to all of it and get caught up. Wow. Hmm. Oh, that's the YouTuber. Wait. Let me just screenshot what happened here. Casey Anthony, yeah. Is it? Like that again, too. Oh. Huh. I don't know. Hmm. Am I serious? What? Yeah, it is a big chance that she is LDS. But what she did. We don't teach people to kidnap and murder and be annoying. Yes, Harley, you should, but only when you're ready. Make sure you're ready. And I don't think it's ever going to feel like you're ready, but make sure that you're at a place where you can confidently explain to them what you're going through. You know, because that's your feeling and it's your body and it's your life and that's nobody else's business but you and God, unless you don't believe in God, but I do. So that's the only person, in my opinion, um, and you know, yeah. Um, Someone asked earlier, why would you need toilet paper? To snort. Crush it up. You cut it up into little pieces 
and you snort it like cocaine. Does that answer your question? <sighs> um, how do you keep your face blemish free? So I naturally have, I don't like people ask me this all the time. I, I wash my face with hand soap, liquid hand soap or dish soap, liquid dish soap, just what, or whatever I have. Um, but this works well for me because I do naturally have not like severely bad, but I have sort of oily skin and this is, it gets grease and oil off of dishes. It also takes oil off of your face. Um, but a lot of people can't do that. I don't know why I lucked out that I can wash my face with, um, like hand, like hand soap, liquid hand soap or dish soap and it's fine. Um, I don't know, but I also, I feel another big part of it is that I don't go in the sun. I hate the sun. So I don't know. I don't really have any advice because. You could try it if you have oily skin i'm telling you it's worth one shot just use dish soap one time and see what happens or and if you don't have a reaction then keep using it for like a week and see what happens i'm not kidding no one believes me and everyone's like that's so bad for your skin you're gonna break out and get rashes and i'm like no i'm I, someone can so some of us can do that it's worth a shot to see if you're one of those people that can do it uh, why are you scared that God won't love you? Do you believe in God? I believe God loves everybody. Literally everybody. That's why he's God, because he's the only person capable of truly loving everybody, like including Hitler. Um, yeah, God made you. He, he loves you no matter what. Trust me. I've learned this so many times. It's true. I don't feel good. I don't feel very well. Have I seen Jojo Rabbit? I have no idea what that is. Please be explained since God won't let me go to heaven with my sister. What do you mean? If he takes my innocence, God won't let me go to heaven with my sisters. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, that's exactly what I do is. It's exactly what I do. If someone asks how to do it, that's literally what I do. You don't even need very much because it's the dish soap that That is meant to go a long way with just a little bit, so it works. What's my favorite song to sing? I love singing Disney. At last I see the light, Tangled. Um, I love singing with Clark. I love Disney songs. And I like singing A Million Dreams. And there's some other ones too. But I think my voice is getting old or I'm just not practicing enough because it doesn't work like it used to. Not that I was ever like super good or anything. Yeah, I like Frozen. Um, not like I was ever super good at it or anything, but it's definitely worse than it was. I don't know. I was like, oh, I love I Dreamed a Dream too. That's one of my favorites. Do you guys remember the one that I did? A lot of you probably didn't see it. Should we watch it? Because I wrote, I rewrote lyrics to I Dreamed a Dream. And it has to do with like, my story and my struggles and stuff. I should re-record that because that was a good one. But I think I made it back when we had like, I don't even think I had a thousand subscribers yet. I really don't. That's a cool video. I should redo it. You've seen it? Who here has seen it? Or did I take it down? I might've taken it down because I remember thinking one night, I, I'm gonna, remake this and so I was like oh I don't want people comparing to the old one oh no it's still here 
Wait, is it going to be backwards for you? Is that backwards to you? Can you see that? Yeah? Okay. There was a time when my life was dark, where my body was dying, and my life was depressing. There was a time when my spirit ached. I was sick every day. The control was on me. this for a while. Everyone should cover this with these lyrics. Before I got my teeth out, it is on bottom. You know what, I actually remember, um, screw Ed, hashtag screw Ed. I remember having to redo the line about the children over and over because it was during a, 
a time where I was really sad that I couldn't have kids. And so to say the line, he took my something, my something, my children. Like that was really hard for me to do. And that was, it, it literally took probably 20 takes to get it because I couldn't do it. So interesting. You guys should all cover it. Everyone go do that. Or if, if you're a singer, you should go do that. And rewrite the words to fit your life or you can use mine or whatever and tweak it to fit you um because that's probably one of my favorite videos i've ever made even though it's not i don't think the singing is super good but like the words and what i know went into it it was cool you know what i mean so everyone should go do it everyone go write yourself a song about ed or whoever the evil person is inside of you that doesn't belong you go write a song and be like you know what you can just get the f out of here because you are not welcome good do it harley no and record it and send it to me i would like to see all of your videos by next friday of you singing a song and rewriting it and getting and taking your power back from whoever took it from you. I'm very tired. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I got um, up pretty early today for me because I had to get up extra early because it was an hour and a half drive to the restaurant and we had to be there by four. And I needed to wash my hair and do my hair and shower and stuff and that takes me a long time. So I had to get up really early and I didn't sleep very much last night so I'm like super tired. So I'm going to go to bed, but thanks for hanging out again. I love you guys. And yeah, stay safe, stay clean, um, be prepared. We're going to get it. Everyone's going to get it eventually. But when it comes, let's try and remember it doesn't mean we're going to die. It's just part of it. Like everyone's going to get it. doesn't mean you're going to die though. So it's okay. It's, it's going to suck and it's a terrible flu as Italy is trying to warn us about but um but everything will be okay don't worry just take care of yourself and stay clean in any way so okay i don't know what i'm saying i look my eyes are like literally closing i'm so tired okay i love you guys i'll see you tomorrow for either a video or a live it'll probably be a live because um because we have plans tomorrow so i'll probably go live tomorrow night maybe around this time maybe a little earlier i don't know Love you, Paul. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, sorry for knowing that you're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye. Hello.